we're heading southwest. We're going off for four or five days and then we're going to come back and spend Christmas with the kids and then go off again. It's the 12th of December today. So when we get back, we'll have about a week till Christmas and then hopefully we'll get back on the road again. But we're heading southwest because it's easier to just get back on the M5 and then get off to get to Kidderminster. So we'll see you when we get to our stop. destination don't we we are in the dark not good down country lines was no it? it was scary yeah horrible anyway we just wanted to do a quick one on the beginning of this video didn't we yep just saying that we've got some new merchandise not gonna stop moving my feet yes you stop it because <laughs> the microphone picks up the squeaky leather it's really bad yes, we've got new microphones yeah, and we've already filmed this once and we've had to chuck it because all you could hear was my boots squeaking because I keep fidgeting my feet all the time. Anyway, so we've got no merchandise. This is mine. That my son designed. And Carl's got his on, ain't ya? Yeah, it's very good. And also, a close look. <laughs> God. Yeah, so because my son has done all the designs and he done our little flag bit at the beginning for Scotland and the Shropshire flag bit as well. And Nookie's hat. Yeah, Nookie getting the hat dropping on his head in, on the Scotland bit. He's really good at doing stuff and at the minute he's doing an apprenticeship for like £5.50 an hour. So any money that's to be made on the merchandise, well we're letting him have it haven't we? Because he needs it to live yeah. on at the minute. So he's going to put other stuff on there. But at the minute, well, he's doing his apprenticeship as well, innit? But we will get him to put more designs on. And the link is in the About page. And we'll get it in the description as well. So that's it then, innit? It is. So we shall see you in the morning and show you where we are. We will. We will. As you can see by my wonky cup of tea, we wasn't very level last night, so we had a crap night's sleep. But never mind, we're going to have a nice day anyway, even if we're knackered. Say good morning, Nucky Bear. No, he's been ignorant because his dad's out there. Wants to know what he's doing, don't ya? Morning everybody. There's Raymond. Parked up nice. We are at Cheddar Gorge. Up there, we spotted the cave last night. I said to Ellen, I'm gonna come and have a look. She said it's not a cave, but it is a cave. So here I am, I'm going to go and have a little explore. Right then, let's go in. Cool. This is where I've fallen and break my neck, I think. Very, very slippy and wet.
cool. Oh, wow. Goes all the way down there. There's some rope here, so people have been down there. Oh, they think I'm gonna get down there. There's bats up there. I don't know if you can uh, make them out, probably not. I'll zoom in a bit. Hey! Right there's a bat. And there's a couple and one above it. There's a few bats in here. Cool. Got a lot of running water around here. All the rock sides are all smooth. Very nice. So I can't go all the way down there. As you can see, remember the ropes, they're proper climbing ropes, but they look old. One looks like it's already snapped. And if we're gonna get down there, nah. Might not come back up. And I can't ring Ellen, not from here. All right then, let's go back out. Finally got out. We are part there in a big layby. And there's the beautiful Cheddar Gorge. And it's drizzling and crap. But we'll do what we can. So we're walking in the direction of Black Rock. There's a layby on the left and a layby on the right. But we don't think we'd get the motor train part up there, which is why we're walking. It's about a 10 15 minute walk, it's only half a mile. And it is surprisingly very quiet. The odd car, I can hear one coming now, but not many at all. Starting to get really misty. We were meant to be walking up the top of there. <sighs> See what it's all when we get up there, might have to come straight back down again. Well, we have got to walk in the road. But it ain't too bad. Most of the drivers are being sensible. And Nucky's well up for it, even if he's getting soggy. I was going to say, if Cole can ever get through the gate, took him a while. Right, so the gorge walk, we're at Black Rock, by the way, Black Rock Nature Reserve. Gorge walk left, or the public bridleway is straight on. Sign there, nature trails are straight on. If you do the left, it's the gorge walk. It says it's 2.4 kilometres to Cheddar. Oh, the way we came from. 2.7 kilometres to Cheddar if we do the gorge walk, which we're going to do, hopefully. Tis very mucky. Carl got me some new boots, but didn't want to risk wearing them in case I cripple me when we're walking so far. 
So I've only got my docks off. Hopefully none of us will fall over. And we've got to go through that gate there. I don't think this will show how mucky and disgusting it is. I've just nearly gone over. It's a good job I've got my stick to keep me upright. Oh, this is looking a bit better. Rockier. Still muddy. But you're going to have better grip than bloody just mud. Oh, and steps as well. Look at the state, man. Should have put my wellies on. Look how mucky it is. It ain't good. <laughs> oh! Oh, funny, ain't ya? So nice to me. <laughs> Only you're allowed to fall over on camera. Yeah. Thank you very much. So now, if he's done a very good job, he's almost fallen over then. There you are. You know, my camera's all at a funny angle. <laughs> this camera's scared. Apparently, we've only done a third of a kilometre. Ugh, gonna take us forever. And now we've got to go up those steps. Lovely. Any hugs? Yep. Funny. Sorry, I get them steps. Well, at least it won't be muddy. Oh, we don't know yet. Well, hopefully. Yeah. We got to the top, but there's even more steps, ain't there? Keeps going and going and going. Yeah. Not good, but we will do it. Nookie's raring to go, look. But look how lovely that looks with a mist rolling in. Lovely man. Nucky said come this way because there's less mud. I <laughs> know. Oh, I think they they want to try and trip you into the mud face down, that'd be funny. Well, well if you do it and then Nucky starts running and you're pulled along. <laughs> <laughs> and I get up and I go, oh woo woo, mouthful of mud. <laughs> you look like a black and white minstrel. Yeah. <laughs> and no view look. got a clue how far we've walked but people have been catching us up and yeah but they're younger and more agile we're middle-aged now don't realize how slow you are till you see like people in the 20s just zooming past you you're like oh god getting old sucks man okay. right see we're all getting old if you didn't fall apart wouldn't it Funny, you're as bad man. I'm right. Look what we spotted. Oh, he's ran that way. Carly's on the bottom path. Don't know if you can see him, Mr. Goatee. Oh, there he is. Hello. Need to let him go past. Mist is starting to clear. And you can actually see the gorge down there now. Out 
actually got nice views from up here as well. Made it worth it in the end. We've just had to walk from up there. This does not show how bad it is. Carl took us through the woodway instead of the path. Didn't ya? I did, I thought it'd be easier. Yeah, he thought it'd be easier. And that's what happens when you listen to Carl. He went straight on his arse and I weren't filming. Gutted. We did it. We got to the bottom. That is the worst walk we've ever done. Probably because of the time of year, to be fair. But we're round by where the shops are now. Hey, the cafe. Woo hey! Got shops here, but we can't go in them because our boots are caked in muck. Shops there as well. Apparently the caves haven't opened since Corona started. And there's men up there, don't know if they're climbing or getting rid of the loose rocks, but a massive one fell down earlier. And we're going to try and get a drink in here, but we can't go in because we're that mucky. Got our habitual hot chockies again, ain't we? Carl's just ate the last of my chocolate brownie because it tasted a bit like coffee. Denny? Yummy, yummy. Mm. Steak man, got it all over yeah. Lovely, ain't it? And that sign says it's the birthplace of farmhouse cheddar cheese and home to real scrumpy cider. And it was the first ever store built in the gorge and it was established in 1870. We've just walked down the road a little bit. The shop's here, but there's hardly any open. And the ticket office is over there, but obviously that's not open either. And that's where we normally sit and have a cup of tea. It's normally rammed, but it's not open. I presume it's just the time of year. Nice little shop there though, done up for Christmas. That's open. Old Roland's. Think it's a gift shop. We 
We're walking back to the motorhome now. Going to be a nice long trek. Can't believe how dead it is here. Absolutely mad. Cheddar Gorge Country Store is no more. It's empty. It's empty. Completely nothing in there at all. I mean, there's lovely shops there, but they haven't opened the caves and they haven't opened any of the attractions like that since March 2020. They have not been open at all. I know people still come here anyway, but I don't know, I don't get it. Don't understand why they haven't opened. Got soaked, didn't we? Yes, we did. So we're leaving in a minute, ain't we, to our next stop? Yes. So we'll see you on the next one. Won't we? We will. Right then. Bye. Bye.